Hello YouTube. Hello everyone. yesterday on Monday May 14th and that was a very long day very long day this uh, transplant process is very long and overwhelming and it just requires a lot of patience but um, I made it there and I well I made it here I'm still in Gainesville as we speak I have to be here for a week of uh, training oh I'm sorry <laughs> a week of um, testing uh, the well the training part comes in well for my caregiver so that part was on my mind as well but um, the testing and procedures so yesterday I had about seven different appointments going on and oh it was so tiresome but gotta do what you do to live and to continue to live and to show the transport um, doctor, transplant doctors that um, you really want this. So, and today I had a procedure done this morning, which was the right and left heart, uh, right and left heart cath was done today. followed by another appointment and the list goes on for the rest of the week so once that is all done and everything they'll go before the board and discuss what they need to discuss about my results and hopefully I'll get that call with my uh, long allocation score which is the number to determine what um, spot that I am on the list and I'm hoping for a very good number towards the top of the list because of my uh, decline in my lung function. So things are starting to get moving for me and it's been a long two years that I've been on the oxygen so all of a sudden now when the things are starting to move you know, it's, it, I'm starting to feel like, oh wow, things are really moving now, and you know, it's. I have to make sure that um. You know, I have my caregivers in place because I have to relocate to Gainesville near the transplant center, um, right after the transplant for at least three months. Or more depends on the, um, or the. It depends on my health situation after you know the doctor, you know, visits and everything like that. So, and I know that I have to have reliable, steady caregivers, and I do. But they, you know, they gotta be sure that. Um, they're going to be able to stay, you know, rotate and everything. And so I have a lot of, you know, things get in order real fast. And also that um, I have to continue with my fundraising events and my GoFundMe and my cash apps and things like that. Because I am uh, responsible for my own um, lodging, you know, hotel or an apartment or, you know, something of that sort. I have to be responsible for my own housing and also my, you know, the, the bills that we still have at home. So, 
it, it's a very trying moment, you know. So, um, I just wanted to, you know, update everyone and, you know, let you guys know how things are going. And I'm sorry that I'm just getting back with a um, update. And, um, it's just things. It's, miles, take it's been a lot going on. And I definitely like to, um, keep my, my subscribers, you know, posted on what's going on. And also, I'm going to leave um, my GoFundMe information in the link, in the description um, link, or I'm going to leave the link in the description box, I'm sorry. So much on my mind, I'm just talking backwards today. <laughs> and um, you all can, um, you know, feel free to share it with uh, any of your social networks, family or friends, you know, any little bit helps. Uh, or, you know, if anyone would like to <clears throat> contribute to the... Lungs for Shaw Foundation. I appreciate it. <laughs> Along with all your prayers, your thoughts and prayers and concerns. <laughs> and um, I will leave that in the description box. <laughs> because things are moving fast. And um, I do know that uh, the list, uh, the transplant list for Shans, <laughs> they... They, once you get on the list, um, they they get you. They try to get you going as fast as they can because when they place you on on their list, that means you really need the transplant. So they're ready to get this ball rolling, and I'm about eight pounds out from the weight goal, and they're very pleased with that. So it's just you know a few more testing to go and. A couple of dental um, appointments that I have to um, follow up on because everything has to be on point. So, and that would be the GPS that you're hearing. So I'm sorry about that. We're heading at some um, dinner over here in Gainesville that we're not quite familiar with. So we have to run the GPS. And with that being said, you all have a very um, uh, beautiful evening and enjoy the rest of your evening. And I will be updating you guys on day three tomorrow. I covered day one and two today. So you all enjoy your night. And I love you guys. And if this is your first time stopping by my page, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. And follow me on my journey. God bless you all. And remember, shall we win. Love you all.